After the attacks in Chattanooga, we ask how places like this one could become safer in the future. Tonight, the attorney general calls it a heinous attack. Candlelight vigils happening in Tennessee after what's being investigated as an act of domestic terrorism. Good evening, I'm Eric Franke. And I'm Michelle Lee. The FBI will take this lead on uh, the lead on this investigation. Four Marines were shot and killed at a Navy and Marines training facility in Chattanooga. Before that, the gunman opened fire at an Armed Forces recruiting center seven miles away. A Navy sailor was injured at that scene. The suspect, 24-year-old Mohammed Youssef Abdulaziz, is dead after a shootout with police. Federal officials say there is no indication that he was on the radar of the FBI or other law enforcement before today. The 24-year-old is a naturalized U.S. citizen born in Kuwait. Investigators don't know why he targeted the military in this assault. New at 10 tonight, Danica Lewis asked leaders of the armed forces based in Madison how this could change their facilities in the future. In a strip mall right off of East Wash, sandwiched in between, well, a sandwich shop and a chiropractor is a storefront that looks pretty similar to the one that was a target in the Chattanooga shootings. And right across the parking lot, another recruitment office, this one for the Army National Guard. We are more ready and prepared than we have ever been. That confidence from Major Paul Rickard comes from 18 years in uniform, along with annual training in anti-terrorism measures and active shooter situations. But after seeing the bullet holes in Tennessee, scattered through a door so similar to the one welcoming his National Guard recruits, Rickert knows training might not be enough. Just know you and I might not realize anything different at the office. If force protection was raised, uh, it might not necessarily be visible to, uh, to someone walking by on the street. Serve to, to serve each other. After seeing the scene in Chattanooga. As a Marine myself, uh, obviously I take it very personal. First Sergeant Adam Tahir didn't have time to meet us in person, but could spare a few minutes over the phone. He works here behind monitored gates and spiked fences. But recruiters typically work in places like this. Our recruiting offices are designed to be, you know, upfront and have, you know, really good exposure. But in light of what could be an act of domestic terrorism killing four of his own, Tahir wouldn't be surprised if these strip mall storefronts tighten up security. It's a tragic incident, um, very upsetting. Part of who we are is citizen soldiers. Rickert says while changes may be coming, the armed forces will not retreat from spots like the one attacked. Withdrawing behind closed gates is, is not the right answer. A state spokesperson for the Army Reserve couldn't go into detail about specific security protocols and safety measures, but did say that lessons can be learned anytime something like this occurs. Our calls to the Naval Reserve in Madison went unreturned. For WISC News 3, I'm Danica Lewis.